So, Andy, is the momentum with Manchester City? They're top, but they have played a game more. Yeah, the momentum is with them for sure, but I, I, I'm, I'm going to stand by Liverpool <clears> to, <throat> to actually get over the line and win it. And, and it's not going to be easy. I think it could well go right to the, right to the very last game. Um, first, first 10 or 15 minutes at the weekend against Bournemouth for Liverpool mm. at home is going to be enormous. You know, if they get in front and just settle everybody down, um, then all of a sudden things can change. The last two results haven't been disastrous. They haven't been great. They haven't played well. They know that. They're, they're kind of... There's people coming in in positions that perhaps having to fill in here and there. But, look, they're, they're, they've, they've been far from desperate. This isn't a team where the wheels have fallen off and all of a sudden mm. you're thinking, no, there's no way back or whatever. No way. I, I think that they can still do it. Um, and I actually believe they will. What do you think, Danny? Is it cities to lose? I think so. Personally, I think when you look at... I'm not buying into the pressure and the stress and everything getting to Liverpool at the moment. I, I don't agree with that. I think that what's happened is, is that we're used to seeing Liverpool over the last few seasons, their forwards winning the games for them. That's not the case. That's, it's been the defence winning the, winning the games for them, the amount of clean sheets they've been having. But they've lost two of their strongest back four. And I think that's been a real issue for them. I think there's a number of players having a little bit of a, a dip and I think you look at Manchester City, you look at the substitutions they made last night. De Bruyne, um, Jesus and Sterling come on and De Bruyne and Jesus um, joining together to score the second goal. I just think the strength and depth. The only real players that Manchester City can't afford to lose is Edison and Fernandinho. I think Liverpool have a lot more players than that. And I just think it's there for Manchester City at the moment. I think it will go all the way, but I just think Manchester City will have enough. Is there an argument that Manchester City will feel more comfortable at the top of the table because that's where Pep Guardiola has, has yep. won his titles from before? Yep, I think, that, I think that's a good point. I think that they can lead from the front. They probably would do that better than Liverpool. Um, but uh, but, but I, 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 just, I just don't buy into the fact that, that in seven days Liverpool can go from being on the verge of winning it in everybody's eyes to all of a sudden it's gone out of their hands and it's now, it's now City's. I, a week is a long time in football. It, it, it genuinely is. And, we, and injuries and, and, and situations can arise that can change your fortunes dramatically. And I, I, I just still believe that Liverpool can do it. They have to, to settle everybody down. This is must-win territory at the mm. weekend without a shadow. And again, it doesn't really matter significantly about how brilliant they play. Get over the line. They weren't brilliant a few weeks ago at Brighton, the 1-1-0. One, one, they... they, they I just think they've got to get over the line. That's what it's all about. And that will send a message to everybody that, that they can grind it out. I, th I think when you look at the defensive side as well, you know, we, they've been absolutely phenomenal this season defensively. And I think if you look in the last two games in particular, Leicester City, West Ham drew both of them, took the lead in both of them. You know, more often than not, when they've taken the lead, they've gone and they've won the game, whether it be 1-0, whether it be 2-0, whether it be 2-1, whatever it may be. But I just think the fact of Alexander-Arnold missing, Gomez or Lovren missing as well, Add to that the fact you're then after having to take one of your central midfielders in Milner to go and play right back. I think that has a real knock-on effect because all of a sudden... You're missing Henderson and Wijnaldum in midfield miss, as well. Missing them as well. But all of a sudden there's that knock-on effect, whereas Liverpool are... We know Liverpool are a free-scoring team, but one of the things is now there is actually added pressure on them to say, right, OK, we have to score. We have to score two or three goals now. Because if you look at them this season, I think they've had one clean sheet in the last six... They've conceded, uh, sorry, in the last six games, I think they've, you know, conceded eight in the last six. They conceded seven in their previous 19. So all of a sudden, the dynamics change and the forwards need to start scoring more now because the defence isn't as solid because of the players that are missing. Dan, in December, though, they scored so many goals. They were so mm. free scoring. Yeah. If you looked at the goals they were scoring per month prior to December, it was eight, nine, seven, whatever, in each month. 22 they get in December. They knock in such an incredible amount of goals. Played a few more games, yes, but I don't think that, that you can... I don't think they're ever going to continue that. They're never going to keep knocking threes and fours and fives past everybody. I think there, are, there is going to be a spell where they've got to tough it out. And every team that have ever got over the line, mm. I think, have had those moments where... where there's a question, there's a point, there's a crossroads, whatever you want to call it, where someone says, they don't look quite right, and then you get through it and you get over it. I think this weekend for Liverpool is a significant one. It would be lovely if they had some of those boys that oh, we were yeah. talking about back. Yeah. They probably won't be. So they're going to have to find a way to do it. Look, they're not four past Bournemouth down there. Mm. Can they beat them? Of course they can on their own patch. But it's maybe playing at home at the moment isn't going to be yeah. particularly easy for, yeah. for, for Liverpool, but they've got to find a way. They've got to get over that, mm. that's for sure. They've got to turn that back into a, a very noisy Anfield once more and make it, uh, make it a place where 
the opposition don't want to come. When you look at the teams that, that they've all got left to play between mm -hmm. now and, and the end of the season, is there, with Liverpool, is it, and Liverpool in particular, to concentrate on them just for the, the moment, yeah. is the fact that they actually have gaps between those games, that, that gap for Manchester City that's in there, is it, there's going to be a, a, a League Cup final mm. uh, in, that, in that round of fixtures. Liverpool, of course, will be in, in Champions League action, as will Manchester City and Tottenham. But because they're not involved in the FA Cup, mm. will, will that give them a, a bit more time to bring back those players that you talk about to, to fitness? Uh, yes, of course, you can look at it in that, in that side of things. But, you know, Andy will probably say the same thing as well, is that when you've been injured, you need to get match fit. So in an ideal world, these players that have been missing, they come back and they're exactly the same as what they were before they got injured. But that doesn't happen when you've been out for a certain amount of time, so that makes it more difficult. But I just think from, from Liverpool's perspective, I agree with what, with what Andy's saying. I think at times now it may actually be better that, that they're playing away from home. And as the season goes on, I think what you want, if you're Liverpool, you want to be playing against a team that's playing for something. Because sometimes if you're playing against a team that, that, that is, you know, got really nothing to play for, they don't necessarily have to come out and they don't have to attack you. I think Liverpool have done well this season, the way they tweak things, the 4-3-3, the systems, dependent on the teams that they're playing against. But, you know, I think there's still a long way to go, but I just, I just feel that Manchester City, even though Liverpool have a game in hand, I still believe that Manchester City now sit, sit in, the, in the hot seat as far as I'm concerned. And what's quite fun is that Manchester United will have a say oh, yeah. in which way this title goes. Yeah, they, they will do, and I think... That, that's the beauty of it. I think if you look at Manchester City, they've got to play three of the top six. Liverpool have got to play three of the top six and Spurs four of the top six. And like you say, Manchester United heavily involved in it and Spurs heavily involved in it as well. So, mm. you know, it's going to be interesting times. And interestingly for, for Spurs, although there have been times this season where it looked as though they might just have, have edged themselves out of the running, look over the last ten games they've played. Actually, they've done better than either Manchester mm. City or Liverpool. Yeah, they've done incredible. Um, and particularly of late, without some of the the key components, look at that. That's uh, that's amazing. You wouldn't you wouldn't have thought those numbers if you were just sort of off the top of your head thinking about who's who's been producing more over the last ten. Um, Spurs have done incredible. I think they will ultimately come up just a, a wee bit short. Um, they do um, have to play Liverpool and Manchester do, City between do, now and, and the end of the and season. And that gives their fans and their players and, and and everybody at Spurs genuine belief that and calls for optimism. I think we're all assuming that Harry Kane and Deli Alley, when they come back mm. off the, when they get off the treatment table, when they get back playing, they're going to come straight back in at this level. Sometimes that doesn't always happen. You know, they might need a game or two, and they might find it a little bit difficult just to catch their fitness and and get back into top gear. If they do, if those two do come back in and start scoring and making a huge, significant difference, then watch out because what's what's what looks like it's going to be an unbelievably exciting finish anyway could get even closer.